Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am here with another video that I've been meaning to make for a while, but I haven't been getting around to doing because I've just been lazy and busy with other things. Um, I finally got my Emmy Awards winner reaction video uploaded, and now I'm doing a video on the nominees for the second annual Critics' Choice Documentary Awards. Now these nominations were announced a few weeks ago, on October 9th, I think, and the awards themselves are this Thursday, November 2nd. Um, it's Halloween as I'm recording this, and the video will probably be up on my YouTube channel by Wednesday, November 1st, so that means the awards are the day after. But uh, these awards are not going to be televised, I don't think. I know last year's inaugural Critics' Choice Documentary Awards were not televised, but I do know that like last year, this year's Critics' Choice Documentary Awards will be hosted by uh, Penn Gillette from Penn & Teller fame. And basically, all these categories here are to honor film and TV documentaries. Now, there's been a couple of changes. Some of the categories that were at the inaugural Critics' Choice Documentary Awards have been rearranged. They've either been condensed or eliminated altogether just to make the awards more cohesive, I guess. You know, with these newer award ceremonies, there's always a little experimentation. So as a result, a lot of categories from last year, which were strictly either for film or for television, have now been condensed to include both film and television documentary nominees together in the same category. There are a few categories that are primarily film or primarily television related, but now we've got mostly condensed nominations, so as a result, some of the categories will have a ton more nominations than they did the previous year. But enough of me blabbing on, let's get to what the actual nominees are. So here are the nominees for the second Critics' Choice Documentary Awards. Best Ongoing Documentary Series TV or Streaming, American Masters, Frontline, Independent Lens, POV, 30 for 30, Vice, Best Limited Documentary Series, TV or Streaming, The Defiant Ones, Five Came Back, The Keepers, The 90s, Planet Earth 2, The Vietnam War, Best Song in a Documentary, Best I Can from Dina, performed by Michael Sarah and Sharon Van Etten. Dancing Through the Wreckage from Served Like a Girl, performed by Pat Benatar. Jump from Step, performed by Cynthia Erivo. Prayers for This World from Cries from Syria, performed by Cher. Tell Me How Long from Chasing Coral, performed by Kristen Bell. Truth to Power from An Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power, performed by One Republic. Best First Documentary, California Typewriter, Doug Nickel, Ketty, Seda Torin, Nowhere to Hide, Zara Dash Ahmed, Step, Amanda Lippitz, Strong Island, Yance Ford, Whose Streets, Sabah Folayan and Damon Davis. Best Music Documentary, Clive Davis, The Soundtrack of Our Lives, Contemporary Color, Eagles of Death Metal, No Samis, Our Friends, I Called Him Morgan, Long Strange Trip, Rumble, The Indians Who Rocked the World, Best Political Documentary, Abacus, Small Enough to Jail, City of Ghosts, Dolores, 11816, an Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power, The Reagan Show, Best Sports Documentary, Alpha Go, Disgraced, Icarus, Speed Sisters, Take Every Wave, The Life of Laird Hamilton, Trophy, Most Innovative Documentary, Casting John Binet, Dawson City, Frozen Time, Karl Marx City, Keddy, Last Men in Aleppo, 7852. Best Director, Irene Taylor Brodsky, Beware the Slender Man, Doug Nickel, 
California Typewriter, Jeff Orlowski, Chasing Coral, Matthew Heineman, City of Ghosts, Evgeny Afanivsky, Cries from Syria, Bill Morrison, Dawson City, Frozen Time, Frederick Wiseman, Ex Libris, The New York Public Library, Agnes Varda and J.R., Faces Places, Seda Torun, Keddy, Amir Barlev, Long Strange Trip, Best Documentary Feature, Abacus, Small Enough to Jail, Beware the Slender Man, Bright Lights, starring Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds, California Typewriter, Chasing Coral, City of Ghosts, Cries from Syria, Dawson City, Frozen Time, Eagles of Death Metal, No Samis, Our Friends, Ex Libris, The New York Public Library, Faces Places, Jane, Keddy, One of Us, Spedicolo, Strong Island. And then the final category um, is a very interesting one, C Most Compelling Living Subject of a Documentary. Uh, when they did this category last year, they uh, didn't necessarily have it as a competitive category, but rather to honor all the people nominated in it. And I don't know if they're going to do the same exact thing this year or just have one person win, but I hope they honor all these nominees here. And the nominees are The Cats of Istanbul, Keti, Eti, One of Us, Al Gore, an Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power, Laird Hamilton, Take Every Wave, The Life of Laird Hamilton, Dolores Huerta, Dolores, Gigi Lazzarato, This Is Everything, Gigi Gorgeous, The Sung Family, Abacus, Small Enough to Jail. And those are the nominees for the second Critics' Choice Documentary Awards. Now, admittedly, I have not seen any of these documentaries yet, so I truly can't say what I think about them quality-wise, but I have heard about several of them uh, for the ongoing documentary series. I've certainly heard of most of these shows, and I've seen a few episodes of them from time to time. For Best Limited Documentary Series, uh, they all sound very interesting. <clears throat> Um, I've heard about most of them. Five Came Back is a mini-series on Netflix about several Hollywood directors who served in World War II. The Keepers, I've heard many great things about. I believe that's about a nun who was murdered after she uncovered evidence of sexual abuse and was going to go public with the news and expose the abuser, but was killed in order to cover up the abuse. Uh, the 90s, that's on CNN, I believe, and it's one of those documentary miniseries that they've been doing about all the decades of the 20th century, or at least a couple of them. Like, I think they started off with the 50s or the 60s, and I know Tom Hanks is an executive producer on all of those. Uh, Planet Earth 2, that's a, a sequel to the beloved Planet Earth miniseries. And the Vietnam War, I know, is the latest uh, Ken Burns documentary miniseries. And Ken Burns, he's one of the best of the best. For best song in a documentary, I have not heard any of these songs, but they certainly have a lot of star power attached to them. Um, Michael Sarah, admittedly I haven't heard him sing too many songs, but I guess he must have a good singing voice. Um, Pat Benatar... Of course, she's a beloved rock icon, particularly if you're a fan of 80s rock. Uh, Cynthia Erivo, most people probably have not heard of her. I have. She won a Tony Award for her performance in the Broadway revival of the musical The Color Purple. She's got several film projects coming in the near future. Uh, next year, she'll be making her major film debut in the movie Widows alongside Viola Davis, and I'm definitely looking forward to that movie. Cher, of course, is a big icon. Kristen Bell, you know, she does have a good singing voice because she voiced and sang the role of Anna in Frozen. And then One Republic, not really a huge fan of One Republic, but there's artists out there that are a far, far worse. <coughs> Justin Bieber. <coughs> now, in terms of the rest of these documentaries, 
I have heard of some of these, mainly from seeing them on Rotten Tomatoes, because every week I always go on Rotten Tomatoes to see what the ratings are for all the new movies coming out. Um, I know California Typewriter is a documentary about people who choose to continue to work on typewriters rather than computers. Um, Keddy is about street cats in the city of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, Clive Davis, The Soundtrack of Our Lives. Obviously, the title kind of speaks for itself. It's a documentary about the legendary uh, music producer Clive Davis. Uh, Eagles of Death Metal, No Samis, Our Friends. It's about the band that was, um, I believe, opening for U2 in 2015 in Paris when the uh, terrorist attacks there happened. And so I believe this documentary covers that incident and the aftermath of it. Interestingly enough, the director of that movie is Colin Hanks, who is Tom Hanks' son. Uh, I called him Morgan. I've heard about that one. I, I believe it's about a jazz musician who was murdered by his wife. Um, Long Strange Trip, I believe that's a documentary about the Grateful Dead. I'm not quite too sure. Uh, Abacus Small Enough to Jail is about uh, a company that got indicted in the 2008 financial crisis. City of Ghosts is a documentary about the ongoing situation in Syria. Uh, Dolores is about the legendary labor activist Dolores Huerta. 11816, that's about our recent presidential election. Uh, an Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power, is a sequel to the Al Gore documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, and it takes a look at how climate change has impacted our world since the release of An Inconvenient Truth. And the Reagan show, obviously about Ronald Reagan. Um, Take Every Wave, The Life of Laird Hamilton. Obviously it's about the surfer Laird Hamilton, who admittedly I had no idea who he was before I learned about this movie because I don't really follow the world of surfing. Um, Last Men in Aleppo, again another documentary about Syria. 7852, that's a documentary about uh, the legendary horror film Psycho, mainly in regards to how the infamous shower scene was staged and filmed. Uh, Beware the Slender Man, that's a, it's a documentary covering that incident a few years ago when these two teenage girls like lured their friend into the woods and like stabbed her multiple times expecting her to die but she survived and and obviously they ended up being arrested and put on trial and I, I'm not exact, I can't quite remember what kind of prison sentences they got, but I believe they were pretty harsh. And Chasing Coral, that's a documentary about the state of coral reefs around the world. Uh, we got another documentary about the situation in Syria, Cries from Syria, Ex Libris, the New York Public Library, pretty self-explanatory there about the New York Public Library. Uh, Frederick Wiseman, very acclaimed documentarian who directed that movie. He received an honorary Oscar last year for Lifetime Achievement. And with Faces Places, one of that movie's directors, Agnes Barda, she's receiving a Lifetime Achievement Oscar this year. Jane, that's a documentary about Jane Goodall. And then the last one here that I've heard of is This Is Everything, Gigi Gorgeous, which is a documentary about a transgender YouTube star named Gigi Lazzarato who does like fashion and makeup tutorials and interestingly that documentary is directed by the woman who directed what I consider to be the greatest documentary of all time Harlan County USA it's directed by Barbara Koppel so those are all the documentaries that I know about I still haven't seen them hopefully I'll see them soon I'll be mentioning many of these documentaries again when I make my video about the films that have been submitted for the Oscar race for Best Documentary Feature. Many of these documentaries have been submitted there, and we'll see what ultimately ends up making the Academy semi-finalist list, as well as the actual nominees. But I'll be back sometime this weekend with the winners for the second Critics' Choice Documentary Awards, and until I do, 
I will see you guys next time. Bye.